Good morning, everybody. We're at home today. I was supposed to be going into Winnipeg to deliver that load this afternoon. But uh, the office, they decided to deliver it for me. They needed the trailer a little sooner, I guess, for another load. So they called me up this morning and said, don't worry about your load, we got it taken care of. That's a nice surprise to wake up to. So that saved me half a day that I'll get to spend at home instead of running out and delivering that. I'm very thankful for that. Thanks guys, if you're watching, appreciate that. I still got some work to do today though. As you can see, we're in Old Blue. I gotta bring Old Blue to PBX, to my uh, mechanic technician shop. And gotta get a little bit of maintenance done before my next trip. Get him to look things over. That's what we're doing today, dropping the truck off. The appointment is actually for tomorrow morning. But uh, fingers crossed, I'm hoping if I drop it off for them today, maybe, uh, maybe they'll get it in a little early and I can pick it up tonight. We'll see what happens. If you guys are watching, no pressure. All right, no pressure. Always in a rush. Always in a rush though. When you drop the truck off, always say you're in a rush. <laughs> I shouldn't let them know my secret like that, right? But I am kind of in a rush. I do have to leave early, early Saturday morning. So today when I'm filming this, it's a Thursday. That means I have today, tomorrow, and I have to leave like before the sun comes up Saturday morning. So technically, I am in a rush. I am. Especially if the appointment's for tomorrow morning, all they got is tomorrow to, uh, to look it over but uh, they have never let me down before. Never, so I trust them. It's a pretty rainy, miserable day. This is still February and we have, it's raining. Water, like liquid water. The strangest thing. It's supposed to be like, well, I shouldn't say it's supposed to be. Most usually it's like minus 30, minus 20 at least. Look at this, it's springtime. This is amazing. I'm not complaining at all. This is great. Next year, we're probably going to pay for it, though, with like a super cold winter, but hopefully not. This is just so strange. There is a big snowstorm coming in at Colorado Low. Thanks, Colorado. Always sending us your wonderful weather and your storms. Got a Colorado weather, uh, Colorado Low coming up. It's already in Saskatchewan to our left, which is west. And it's probably about... 400 kilometers away right now, or about like 240 miles to our west, and it's coming this way. So I'm kind of glad that I don't have to go into Winnipeg. I can bring my truck to the shop before that weather hits. And then hopefully I can go pick it up after it's passed. Very mild February though. This winter's been great. Like it's been so mild. I wish every winter was like this. Maybe we'll get lucky and this will be our winters from now on. That's what they keep telling us, right? I'm gonna bring it on. Bring it on, I like it. Maybe one day I can like have a real palm tree in my backyard. Bloomin' Hort, Bloomin' Schnort, Bloomin' Hort, Bloomin' Nort, Manitoba. Is there a spot here on the fence for me? Yep. Oh yeah, one just for me, front and center. Nice. I'm gonna put my name on it. They're gonna see me rolling in and be like, what? He's not supposed to be here till tomorrow. Surprise! dirty now anyway. A little bit more dirt won't hurt. Didn't see my dad here yet. My dad was coming to pick me up and bring me back. I think we got to go get his truck too. His truck is at his shop. He goes to a different one. BBX isn't the only good shop here. I'll be honest and say there's a lot of good mechanics and good shops around here. This is just the one I go to. Uh, they're the only ones I authorize to work on my truck. They have a history of working on this truck for like a, over a decade. So, uh, and they've always done good work for me. So when I find a place that works for me and that does good, there's dad, there he comes, coming to get me. Uh, when I do find a place that I trust, that's, uh, I just, I'm loyal that way. 
but there's a uh, there's a lot of good shops around here like Martin Diesel that's another good shop in Steinbeck here uh, that's where my dad gets his work done a lot of my friends get their work done there too uh, lots of other ones but you know, this is where I go we're in the dad mobile that's it the Opa mobile now that's Opa mobile that's right <laughs> You to the rescue. Yeah, and now we gotta go get his truck. That's right. Bring my truck to the shop and pick up his truck from his shop. What was wrong with your truck? Oh, the drive shaft, right? The drive shaft, the most drive shafts, the, the long front shaft with the U joints and yokes, everything had to be new from uh, the transmission all the way to the last differential. Everything Brand is new. Brand new. You uh, had it in for a safety, right? Yes, I had it for the yearly safety. Oh, yeah. Could have fixed it up, you know. Part of the drive shaft was still good, but uh, if they're gonna kind of cut it to pieces and weld it back together, uh, it's better just doing the whole thing new. Okay. So we gotta go and check their work on that. And then I'm at home for today, tomorrow, and then we head out early, early in the morning. I'm itching to get back on the road already. You've been at home for a while. I've been home for exactly a week now already. I believe. Okay. A big bill to cover, so yeah, I'm gonna have to do some pedaling to get that paid for. Yeah, <laughs> to get those miles. There it is. Big girls are ready to be picked up. That red and white. It's another one of our trucks here. A lot of the guys come here, eh? Yeah. There's dad's truck with the white mud flaps. It's ready to go. It's my shop. Martin Diesel. Yeah. That's why you come here, right? That's why I come here, yeah. My name is Martin. My name is Martin. Yeah, but that is the owner is Mr. Martin. Okay. But I keep on asking you, know, where's my royalty? Where's my share, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I can't seem to get it out of it. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Brand new drive shaft. What does a brand new drive shaft look like? That's new. Oh yeah, there it is. Where can we see it? Can you see it? This is a, uh, I believe it's a 2005 Freightliner Classic that Dad's running. Dad's a big Freightliner guy. He loves these trucks. I love Kenworth. He loves Freightliner. When uh, I was a kid, I went on the road with my dad all the time. He had a Freightliner then too, but it was a 1997 Freightliner FLD. So it had a little bit of a shorter nose. He also had a Classic back then too. He had a 1999 Freightliner Classic. And then he sold that. He bought this, uh, oh, probably 15 years ago already, maybe 10, 15 years ago. I think it's a 2005, it might be a 2003, but uh, yeah, it's an old school truck too. It's Back when trucks were trucks and not computers. Thing's a beast. Who knows how many miles he's got on it. He's thing just keeps going and going and going. He's got a uh, a Cat C15 under the hood. Solid engine. It'll go a while yet. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh yeah. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. What is that? Mangoes, strawberries, bananas, cereal, and yogurt. Oh my, save some for me. No way, Jose. This is all Theo's. Mm -hmm. Nom nom. Oh yeah. Mm. Health boy. Come on, guys. This weather is crazy. Come on. Nothing to be scared of now. 
everything's melting and it's raining still. And we got the truck back already. A lot quicker than I expected. The appointment wasn't until tomorrow morning. <laughs> Told you they never let me down. All right, it's messy outside, so it's a little dirty already, but there's my new brake pot. And that's what we had to get fixed today. And while they did that, I got them to check and make sure that all my brakes were in proper adjustment. Just while they, while they were in there, so if anything needed adjustment, just check all the brakes. So everything was all good. We're ready to leave on our trip in a couple of days. I'm going to come back here tomorrow, though, because uh, I have another problem here. This marker light that I have on the fender, the wire corroded right out from in the light, and I can't fix that. So I ordered new ones. But they're not going to be here for a week yet. So my dad had spares. Of course he did. So I'm going to put the, his spares on my truck so that I have legal lights to go through on my next trip. Then when I get back, my lights will be in. They'll be clear lens because his aren't clear lens. Otherwise, I would have just bought those off him. But he offered to let me use those. Once my clear lens lights come in, they'll be a little different than this. They won't have the, uh, the visors on there, but that's okay. It's going to be a brighter, better light. And uh, once, uh, once those come in, I'll switch them out again, clean up the other ones that I borrowed from Dad, give those back to him, and uh, that's, that's the plan right now. Let's go home. Let's go home. My wife has been expecting me at home for a little while already. I'm late. These are the spares, uh, but they're not, they don't have clear lens. Let's see them here. One second. One second. I'll show you this here. See? They are nice lights but they wouldn't match the rest of my truck because the rest of my truck has clear lenses, right? So these will work for a couple of weeks until my new ones come in for a week or two. And then we'll get the proper ones back on. I didn't like these ones anyways. These lights, don't buy these. If you see these on Amazon, they look cool, right? Because they have the visors. That's why I bought them. I was like, cool. They're, they're not very bright. I don't like them. Poor quality. And all the... They get rusty, like bolts. This one hasn't rusted out yet, but you can probably see in there. See that? And I've only had these for, what, a year? Poor quality. I'm gonna try the next ones, see if they're better. Thanks for hanging out with me today. A little bit of a sneak peek into my time at home. When I'm at home, I'm usually not uh, picking up the camera all the time. But maybe I should sometimes. I do, I do sometimes. Sometimes I do more than other times. A lot of the time I just like to uh, rest and just enjoy my time at home I do a lot of work when I'm on the road working you know 14 to 16 hour days when I get home it's nice to just sort of relax but we had that uh, that work to do in the shop that I was talking to you about there replacing those lights we'll talk more about that in tomorrow's video I got one more day at home yet before we hit the road again and uh, I also wanted to apologize as I was editing this video, I noticed that there was a couple of clips in here where my stabilization on my camera accidentally got turned off and I didn't realize that until I was editing it. So it was kind of eh, around when my dad picked me up from PBX there and brought me back to get his truck. Uh, sorry about that. Hopefully that didn't give you a headache. I hate that when that happens, but I had to include those clips in the vlog. It was part of the story when he came to get me. I cut out the, the worst parts of it that was shaking the most, but we'll see. I just realized now in the future that it had been turned off. So I hope that the upcoming vlogs that I haven't edited yet that I have to edit for you are going to be all right. But if you get some shaky footage in the next few days, I apologize in advance. The problem has been fixed now in the future, but we have to get to the future first. Where I am, I am from the future. Greetings. It's exactly how you thought. Nothing changed. Still terrible. <laughs> Just kidding. Having fun here. Now I'm in my I'm on my next trip already, so I don't want to spoil that for you. But we're going a little bit further again, stretching our legs into uh, areas that we haven't usually gone to recently, and we're having a lot of fun. So there's more trucking content coming after tomorrow's video. But tune in anyways. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a video. If you are a member of the channel, make sure you especially have that bell clicked so that when I release a members only video or early content for the members uh, that you get notified of that right away. Uh, you always get first access to the videos and then they get released for 
everyone else on YouTube a short while later, or even a few days later sometimes. I release one per day, and sometimes I have like five or six ready to go, and uh, they're just sitting on the internet, so I give uh, members access to that. If you're wondering what that's all about, uh, you can always click down below uh, this video or on my main page, it says join now. Click that button, you can learn more about what the membership is. I used to have memberships over on Patreon. We moved them over here onto YouTube now. It's just way easier having everything in one place. Way easier for, for me on my end. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. If not, I just ask that you come back tomorrow. It'll be fun. I'll see you then, take care.